Hey everyone, it's Kino here. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're gonna go through just a nice, easy beach yoga sequence. This is an awesome class if you're new to the practice, you just wanna have a light, easy day. We're gonna begin with the sound om to just initiate the sacred space of the practice and mark the turning of the mind inward, redirecting the objects of the senses away from the external world into the depth of the inner body. So bring your hands together and inhale. Keep your eyes closed for a moment and notice the subtle shifts, the change in the atmosphere, the change in your inner experience as you've made the decision to begin the journey of yoga. With a few moments of quiet reflection, tune into the inner body, tune into the spiritual heart. Find that space of equanimity within. And then inhale as you raise the arms above the head, looking up at the thumbs. And exhale, bring your hands gently back down, following the center line. And let's do that again. Inhale as you rise up through the center line, gazing upwards towards your thumbs. And exhale, back down through the center line, returning your hands to the center of the chest. Again, inhale, rising up through the center line, gazing up at the thumbs, and exhale, slowly coming back down. Now we're gonna lean over to the side, bring your right arm out, and inhale, lift your left arm up, and exhale, slowly moving your trunk, your torso, over to the side. We'll just hold that for about five breaths. One, switching your gaze up. Two, three, keep the belly drawn in, four, and five, inhale all the way back to the center. Exhale, find your center line. Inhale, lift your right arm, stretching out the left and exhale, moving over from your trunk. Nice, steady breathing. One, belly sucks in, two, gazing up, three, nice and easy. Four, again, the belly sucks deeply in. And five, inhale back to the center. Exhale, finding your center line again. Pause and tune in. Draw inside your low belly, feeling inhalation, exhalation, deepening. And then we'll move over onto your hands and knees. So nice and easy, coming up onto your hands and knees. Hold it here for a few moments. Take a moment, taking your hands, shoulder width apart, knees maybe to the inner edge of the hips width. And we'll just hold the hands and knees plank for a couple breaths. One, keep your belly drawn in, two, three, four, and then slowly moving your shoulders forward, slowly pull the shoulders back. We'll do that two more times. Inhale as you move the shoulders forward and exhale, sink it back. Again, inhale, move it forward and exhale, sink it back a little bit. Then moving the shoulders over the palms, hold it here for a moment. Dip down with your chest like you're retracting the shoulders. Then protract, take it up. We'll do that two more times. Dip down and take it up. So you retract the shoulder blades, protract the shoulders. Let's do that one more time. Exhale, dip down. Inhale, big push, take it up. Hold it up, gripping your fingertips a little, moving your shoulders over the palms. Curl the toes under and let's come on up to plank. Five breaths in plank, nice and easy. One, two, keeping the belly drawn in. Three, four, and five. Glide your right foot forward, settling the left knee down, pointing the left toes. Come up onto your fingertips and take the hands right onto your right knee. Just settle in for a moment, letting your hip open in its own time. No force, no pressure, drawing the belly in. And we'll hold this for five breaths. One, two, keeping the mind calm and equanimous, cultivating a state of equanimity, patience and tolerance with yourself. Four, and five, bring your hands into prayer. And inhale, raise the hands above the head. One, two, three, Gazing up at the thumbs, four and five. Exhale, hands back to prayer. 
I had to close my eyes because the sand was falling down. You should look up at your thumbs if you're not doing it on the beach like I am. Take your hands down, grip your fingertips a little, curl the left toes under and slide it back to plank. Hold plank for a moment and then slide that left foot forward, settling the right knee down, coming up onto your fingertips. Hold it here for a moment and bring your hands up to your knee. Hold on to your knee and we'll settle down. One, two, cultivating an attitude of equanimity. Three, four, and five, keeping the belly drawn in, hands in prayer. If you want to just stay with your hands in prayer, all good. But if you want, hands raise up above your head. One, two, three, four, and hands back to the center of the chest. Take your hands down, move your shoulders a little forward, and step it back to plank. Hold the plank for a moment. Hold it, hold it. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. And let's just hang out in downward facing for a moment. A couple breaths, find a stable foundation. One, two, three, belly sucks in, four, and five. Switch your gaze forward, step your right foot forward, settling your foot down. Pausing for a moment as you suck your belly deeply in. Take your right fingers, wrap them around your right big toe, thrust into your feet, and then inhale, raise your left hand up. One, two, three. Keep sucking in the triangle pose. Trikonasana, the legs are firm. Four and five. Slowly, left hand reaches down, right hand reaches down, glide it back to plank. Plank for a moment. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Let's do the other side. Step that left foot forward. Hold it for a moment onto your fingertips. Root down into your feet. Wrap your fingers around that left big toe and then inhale all the way up. One. Look up to your right fingers. Two. Three. Four and five. Settle your right hand down to the ground, left hand down to the ground. Moving the shoulders forward, glide it back. Shoulders forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Pause and downward facing. Let's have a couple of breaths. One, two, three, four. And five, look forward, send your left knee or right knee down, cross your feet underneath you, and let's come on back to seated. And then nice and easy, take the right foot over the left, stacking the right knee on top of the left, pointing your toes, coming up onto your right knee, keeping the belly drawn in. Let's stay here for five breaths. One, two, calming the mind, turning yourself inward. Three, four, and five, lift your right arm up, bending the right elbow, take the left hand to the right elbow and just releasing back as so you're releasing the tricep. One, two, three, four, and back to the center, bring your right arm up, left arm threads around, rise it up, gaze at the fingers, one, Two, keep the belly drawing deeply in. Three, rise up along the center line. Four and five, slowly release. Pull that right knee up into your chest for a moment and just hug it in. We're gonna be twisting over to the right side. So as you suck the belly in, think about lifting your torso up and around to the right side. Again, suck the belly deeply in and lift it up and around. Slide your left shoulder around and just easy. Hands in prayer. You can take your hands on the ground and just work that spinal twist. Three, eventually maybe even grabbing your foot. Four, and five. Slowly release, pick your spine up, come back to the center, release your feet, cross the feet underneath you, hands reach forward and let's step it back to the plank pose. Plank, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, upward facing, exhale, downward facing. Now, step your right foot, left foot forward again. Coming to seated, slide it around. Okay, left foot on top this time. I'm getting real sandy, okay? So, point your feet, stacking the knees on top of each other, and take your hands on top of the left knee. Lift your chest up and forward, and we'll stay here for five breaths. One, 
Turn your mind inward, either gazing at your fingers or closing your eyes. Two, three, four, lifting your chest up and slightly forward. Four, keeping a root down through the sitting bones. And five, take your right hand to the left elbow. It's just nice, easy, release the tricep. One, calm, steady breathing. Two, no strain in your neck, no force, just be here. Three, four, and back to the center, let your left arm up, thread the right hand around, pressing the palms into each other. Lift up along the center line, gazing at the thumbs. One, two, keep the belly drawn in. Three, four, and five. Slowly release, bringing your left foot up or the left knee up. Take a moment and just hug into your chest. And as you're hugging into the chest, you're emptying out the pelvic bowl, then slowly and calmly draw the belly in and spiral around the thigh. Do that again, draw the belly in and spiral around the thigh, drop the right shoulder around and hands in prayer, looking over to the left. One, keep your sitting bones nice and active as though they're reaching into the ground. Two, three, remember if it's too difficult for the hands in prayer, just take the fingers on the ground. Four, Maybe one day reaching around and holding onto your foot. Almost there. And five. Slowly curl the spine back to the center. Bring your knees forward. And inhale. Arms up. One. Slow, steady breathing. Two. Three. Maintain a sense of emptiness deep in the pelvic bowl. Four. And five. Lift your right leg up. One. Two. Three. Four, settle it down, left leg reaches up, one, two, three, four, settle it down, scoot a little forward for a moment, make sure you're on the space between the tailbone and your sitting bones, point your feet, hold underneath the knees and come on up to balance. Slowly bring the arms up, one, two, you can bring the legs up, three, if you can all the way up, four, almost there, five, bend your knees underneath you. Take the hands forward and easy. Let's step it back. Plank. Hold the plank for a moment. Exhale. Chaturanga. Inhale. Upward facing. Exhale. Downward facing. Step it forward. Right foot. Left foot. All the way through. And stretch the legs all the way out. Take your hands next to the hips. Dandasana position. Five breaths. One. Keep the belly drawing in. Two. Three. Four and five switch your gaze to your toes reach down holding the shins if this is as far as you get no problem but slowly walk yourself a little forward if you can again a little forward until you can wrap your fingers around your big toes and then inhale belly sucks in exhale slowly fold one don't force two three keep the belly drawing deeper in four and five inhale slowly come up exhale Inhale, come all the way up, bending your right knee into your chest. Hold it in for a moment. Draw the belly deeply in. And we'll just sink down into the hips for a moment. Drop the right leg out to the side, bringing the heel all the way into the groin, turning and orienting your chest forward. Janu Shasana A. Reach forward, taking your hands to the left shin. Hold it there for a moment. Draw the belly in. If it's comfortable for you, you can hold on to your foot. No stress. Inhale again. Belly sucks in. Exhale. Fold. One. Remember, be patient and kind with yourself. Don't force. Don't pull. Just breathe. Let yourself be here. Find that peaceful center within. And inhale. Straighten the arms. Exhale. Inhale. Come on up. Right knee in. Left leg forward. Left knee comes into your chest and just hold it in for a moment. So we close the knee joint, sealing it completely. And then dropping the leg to the side, heel into the groin. Orient your sternum forward onto the right side, holding onto the right shin. Then inhale, belly draws in. And if it's possible and easy for you, hold the foot. Inhale again and exhale, easy fold. Pulling back with the pubic bone. One, two, three four and five inhale come up 
exhale inhale all the way up bending the right knee in bringing your feet together for Baddha Konasana now this is a pose where you may feel a lot of intensity around your inner thighs you want to make sure your knee joints are safe your hip joints are safe but there may be quite intense sensations in the inner thighs and even in the region of the vicinity of the hips as though we're moving into the deep muscles that really affect and move and create mobilization around the hips they are often stored emotions in the hips so if this starts to feel uncomfortable or you start to feel motions bubbling up totally normal you don't want to sit there and push on your knees you just let them be exactly where they are then inhale making contact with the inner body exhale slowly send the pubic bone back pubic bone back keep your back straight for a moment hold it there now let's release the hands taking the elbows down and we'll just stay here for about five breaths one two make peace with yourself make peace with your body three Tune into the inner body. Four and five. Slowly use your hands to walk it back up and then bring the knees gently together. Cross your feet underneath you and let's step it back to the plank pose. Plank down to chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, right foot, left foot. Come on all the way through to seated taking a comfortable seated position pause for a moment bring your fingers together the first two fingers stretching out the middle finger the ring finger and the little one chin down five breaths one two feel your mind coming back into the center three four draw your attention deeper down down into the inner body and five Take a moment bringing your hands together and just feel the vibration of your heartbeat at your fingertips. Feel the vibration of the space behind the sternum. Feel the center of the body, the mind and the spirit and allow those three facets of your being to come into alignment so that you move and speak with authenticity through the truthfulness of who you really are. Gaze through the eyes of spirit and reveal the peaceful center of the true self. And let that spark the seed of awakening, bearing the fruits of peace, joy, and love in every moment of your life. Inhale. Thank you so much for letting me be your guide into the inner tradition of yoga. Namaste.